All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give this a shot and see what we can come up with. I'm going to try to get you guys started with the OSVR in Elite Dangerous. To get started, well, first off, I don't do this. This is this is not me. I don't do YouTube videos. I enjoy YouTube videos. So please bear with me. I'm not a professional. Um, this is the stuff that we're going to be using today. Um, now, I'm going to have download links for this somewhere, somehow, whether it be on Reddit or on the YouTube link. They'll be somewhere. Now, the fun part is seeing if I actually opened up everything properly. All right, so I did somewhat. We may have to go searching for something. So first off, this right here, this Atmel tool, you're going to need it. Make sure to download, if you don't have Java or you don't know, just download the Java runtime environment included, this 3.4.7, okay? Very important. Install that. Some of this I'm not going to do. And some of it I am. This I've already installed. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to let you guys do this. You guys can pause the video and then make sure to install that. Run it. Get it going. Golden. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the OSVR runtime for Windows. Okay. Go in here. We're going to use the newest one. Oh, I don't have a pop filter either, so forgive any noises. Now, I'm running 64-bit. You may be running 32-bit. I don't know how that'll work with it, especially since I'm using um, Horizons. It requires me to have 64-bit anyways. So grab this one if you're running a 64-bit system. Otherwise, I just, like I said, I don't know how it'll work. So grab the 64-bit, the 1176. So we're going to download that. And then you're going to come over here, and you're going to download, once again, link will be in the description. You're going to come down here, and you're going to match it. You want the same core Steam VR OSVR plugin as we do um, the OSVR core. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the 1176 is the one you want. Go ahead and download that. I have those downloaded, so once again, I'm not going to re-download those. Another thing we're going to grab is we're going to grab the SDK. Grab it. Just trust me. Just grab it. Just run with me. Okay, same thing, 1176. We're not going to worry about the core because we don't need the core. Now, the next thing we do need is the driver because if you notice, OSVR driver pack needs to be installed separately. So we're going to go in here and we're going to scroll down and down and down. And we're going to grab this combined driver installer, the HDK combined driver installer 1.2.6. Download it. Once again, link will be in the description. And I'm going to stop saying that, I promise, one of these days. The OSRV, uh, uh, OSVR config file, we want this as well. So you go in here, download it. I'm telling you to download all this stuff. Please forgive me if I didn't download it. We're going to go through the steps. Don't worry. All right, next thing, render manager. Grab it. Ah, I didn't want to grab it, but whatever. Firmware update. You want this as well? Grab it. Once again, I didn't mean to grab it. Whatever. The OSVR HDK control software. Grab it. We're going to need it. Now, I have not used any of this. I'm not going to today. We're just going to get Elite Dangerous working. All right, now that we have that going, we're going to open up Steam. And forgive me for any of my stuff that may offend, may be annoyed. I'm too lazy to adjust things. So we're going to go into our tools. Come on down here to Steam VR. So make sure to go into properties. We're going to actually opt into one of the betas. We're going to go into the 340. So make sure, grab this drop down list. You want to find the 340. It's the only one that's there that's 340. Grab that, close this window, allow it to update. Okay? And I didn't mean to launch it. We'll get to that here in a minute. Calm yourself, Steam VR. You're not going to be happy with what I. Yep, thank you. So you can see that I don't have this thing set up right now. Now, after that's downloaded, updated, and everything else, make sure to go into Properties, Local Files, and verify the integrity of the tool cache. Just do it. Trust me. Or don't. We're done with Steam for now. Make sure you do have Elite Dangerous downloaded and updated. Now, we're done with Steam. Close it up. Now we've got the files that we've been using. And I'm going to delete this right here because we're going to actually get that here in a second. So here's the camera firmware update. Run it. I already did. So my, my camera is updated. It's fairly simple. You guys can do this. I know you can. 
Boy, that sounds derogatory. I didn't mean it that way, I promise. You guys, I'm going to let you guys do that off screen. You guys got this. Okay, so now we're going to run the OSVR control file. It's going to launch. It's going to download. It's going to look beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that sexy OSVR control. All right. So, you remember the app mail that I told you to download? Do I still have it? No, I don't. App mail flip. Flip. App mail. It goes back and forth. Make sure that this is installed before you do this step. Now that it's installed, we're going to connect. We're going to update firmware. And once again, at this point in time, your OSVR needs to be plugged in. Make sure that power is connected, your camera is connected, everything's connected, and it's plugged in. I have mine set into the main HDMI port of my GPU, and I have this monitor actually attached to the DVI output with an adapter. So right now, that's how I have it set up. We're going to update the firmware. Hit next. Make sure it says firmware upgrade tool found because that's the Atmel flip that we downloaded. COM4 looks all beautiful. We're updating. Yeah, sure. Just trust me. Or I'm just trusting this. You just trust this too. And then hit go. And we're going to watch things rotate. Perfect. That was quicker than expected next now it's actually going to do the firmware upgrade green 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 yellow perfect all right so now it's verified tracker I don't get why that isn't the 1.9 but I'm not gonna worry about it because it works next you have successfully completed the version upgrade process it's now ready to be used how exciting okay so we're done here disconnect Okay, we're not going to mess with anything else and exit out of that. We're done with that. Next thing, we're going to go to the HDK Combined Driver Installer 1.2.6. Install. Install. Accept everything. Allow it to rule your life. Eventually, it'll ask for blood. OSVR Render Manager is the next one. And we're just going to install all of this stuff. All right, so if you read me, it's done. I don't want to watch the readme. I'm not that big of a readme fan. Explains a lot about my life, but that's getting beyond the point. Now we're going to install the OSVR SDK. Hit run on that, and once again, I'm using the 1176 because that matches up with my Steam plugin 1176, which matches up with that beta 340. Don't ask me how it matches up, it's magic accept the terms and licensing and once again they rule your life install and I'm just rambling on nonsense perfect now the next fun part we need this plugin make sure let's go to properties where is it I don't see it oh it's because I already unblocked it I'm an idiot normally when you download this right here there's an unblock button check mark that unblock hit apply and hit OK. I'm sorry, I didn't realize, well, I didn't realize it wouldn't let me do that again. But it's already been done. Make sure that you do that. Unblock. Very important. So we're going to extract the files here. And we have the Steam VR OS VR. We're just going to copy this file here. And we're going to go into our PC and into our Steam folder. Somewhere around here. And then Steam Apps. And then Common. Steam VR. If you notice there's a drivers folder here, we're just going to right click and we're going to paste. This is something I've already got the files in there, but we're going to replace them now anyways, just to continue with the process. Now that we've got that there, we're going to open up this drivers config file. I like Notepad++, but you can use regular Notepad by all means. Normally when you get it, this is what it looks like. We don't want that. Hit enter a couple times. Bracket OSVR. Bracket Whoa, 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 wrong bracket. Forget I did that bracket. You guys did not see that? That's the bracket we want. All right, so save that. It's very important. We need that. We're done here. So exit out of that. I think we're done. I sure hope we're done with that part. Anyways, now we're going to go to display settings. Now, see, this is the headset right here. It's, it, 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 that's not right. We don't want it like that. Now, for me, I have to use Landscape Flipped, so that's what I'm going to use. 
This is, I'm just leaving this be. We're not going to touch that. We want it extended. We do not want it mirrored. We do not want only M1 or only M2 in this regard. Also, we do not want it to be our main display. We want it to the right of our main display. Main display, ooh, beautiful. Not main display, ooh, beautiful. And you can go to advanced display settings. Now, once again, OSVR is at 1920 by 1080. Important. Now my main monitor, 1920 by 1080. I know some of you have different resolutions for each individual item. Make sure that the, the OSVR is 1920 by 1080. If you can, use your monitor at 1920 by 1080. Makes things easier, trust me. Or don't, once again. We're done here. Now I recommend you all stop this video, make sure you can get to it again, restart your computers. I'm going to try to do it without doing this. If I can't, I'm going to upload two videos, but we're going to try it out right now and see what we can come up with. So at this point in time, we've got the OSVR ready. Oh wait, hold on. And we're back. Welcome back. Thank you for restarting your PCs. We're going to now attempt this. So the important part is we're going to, and I'm going to the wrong area, we're going to go to our OSVR once I learn the alphabet. And then we're not going to worry about anything else except for this. Now that it's like that, and excuse me, I'm getting out of the mic. What did I do wrong? Plugged in, plugged in, plugged in, plugged in. My camera is not currently turning on. Could not open my tracking camera. So I'm going to plug it into a different USB port. Bear with me. And we're going to attempt that. So I'm going to get out a microphone. Bear with me. I'm at a different USB port. I was using an interesting hub from EVE Online. It was the Redeem... Ah, oh, I even forget what it's called. Little tiny ship, cool little hub. But we're going to try this again. Let's see here. Power, power, power. Supposedly, we have power. There we go. It went green. Now I'm going to hold the headset up near where I am and allow it to grab that entering normal run mode perfect every now and again it'll hold still measuring camera pose several times that line will go on and go on and go on just wait until it hits that entering normal run mode so now we're done with the OSVR now the fun begins open up steam and by the way things are going to get a little noisier I'm running a GTX 960 and an i3 processor, so I do a little bit of overclocking in order to keep the game running smoothly at all times at a higher setting of graphics. So this may get a little noisier on the back side of things, I do apologize. Yeah, you can hear that fan kicking up. Okay, anyways, now you see your Elite Dangerous, we're going to be playing that soon. Hit VR, this beautiful button in the corner, I like to cheat. Oh, and look at that. The game doesn't want to let me to do this without restarting. Okay, so I'm going to restart my PC and I will upload this into a video or I'll combine the two if I figure out how. Like I said, I don't normally do this. So I'll be back.